Hello, I'm Olga Stefatou. I'm a Greek visual artist working mainly with photography and video. I'm in Athens now. I'm so happy that my work Chrysalis is exhibited at Aga Khan Museum along with the exhibition Sanctuary. I was supposed to come for the opening, but unfortunately the current life conditions we are all living in didn't allow it, but I hope in the future. My work is around uh, freedom and gender inequality, and my approach is mainly documentary, but I like combining different kinds of mediums. Uh, I'm also fascinated the last years with the idea of creating experiences through photography, and Chrysalis is a project like that. Working as a photojournalist uh, for a couple of years, I cover widely the refugee crisis in Greece. I met refugees, I talked with them, I became friends with them, and uh, I had a deep desire to create a personal project that would represent more my own values. This project I would like to be about the women, because the refugee women represent half of the refugee population in Greece, and they need our support. They need more support uh, to integrate because of their cultural background. So I wanted a project for them and I was looking for an idea. At some point I saw again an older picture I've done, a self-portrait where I, when, uh, I used again the survival blanket. Uh, this material has become somehow a symbol of the refugee crisis and when I saw that older picture I said, why not creating a golden dress for a woman, for each woman, and take the photographs. So this is how everything started. For me, Chrysalis is not a fashion project, it's a documentary project, and it's important to have the photographs and the text together, the photographs and the stories together. I started the project in January 2018, I proposed immediately to Guram Tatsanitsa to create the costumes. Guram is a designer and artist living in Athens and coming from Georgia. I totally trust him and I'm very grateful for this collaboration. Afterwards, I started looking for the space uh, where to hold the sessions. I was looking for a space to, where the women will feel very comfortable, very safe. And uh, a Syrian friend introduced me to communities. Communities is a group of people and they are managing a heritage building, a beautiful building. When I entered in the blue room, I thought that this is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, the color, the light from the ceiling, the architecture, it was, yeah, it was just ideal. And uh, then I started looking to find the women who would like to participate in Chrysalis. I met the women through other refugees, I met them through people who work with the refugees, and also the women who have participated, they introduced me to other women. So yeah, it went somehow through the word of mouth. Uh, it wasn't easy, I had to earn their trust it was very important because there are people who have suffered a lot. Some of them, they suffer from depression. Their husbands don't allow them easily to participate in this kind of projects. They are shy. There are again the cultural barriers. They, are, they don't feel comfortable um, going out of the house or the camp. So I was very patient to find the women. And I think that the ones who have participated so far, they were ready to stand out and speak out. For each woman, we tried with Guram to create a unique and personalized dress based on her life and her background. The photo sessions were uh, a bonding experience. Uh, each of them was challenging, difficult, easy, fun, surprising. There are so many unforgettable memories. I remember Roa when she brought that morning her golden shoes. It, she was very engaged and uh, I remember uh, Raha when um, she sang for us, it was such a powerful moment. I remember the day I photographed Nanzanin, it was such a difficult day. Her husband was calling her every five minutes from Germany to stop the session. She decided to continue until the end. And uh, yeah, I remember Mariam, that was a surprise, she wanted to be photographed naked. Uh, because she wanted to talk about her body, that her body uh, belongs only to her. 
So yes, it was uh, a learning experience for me and it was a very creative and uh, enjoyable experience for all of us. I keep contact with most of the women. Uh, I want to know what is happening in their lives and uh, some of them are still in Athens, some have moved to different countries. I was very released when Ellie, the 60 years old woman, uh, she sent me a message that she arrived in Germany and she's again with her children and she met for first time her grandchildren. I hope the visitors will uh, feel more empathy about the refugees. I believe they are going to see that refugees are strong individuals with hopes, with opinions, with fears, with dreams, with passions. They want to contribute to our societies. They want to create a new free life and uh, they need opportunities for this. I hope the visitors will feel inspired by the women's strength. They will appreciate those powerful humans and they are going to be more supportive to their efforts.